Hey guys, welcome back. It's me again. Before I get started with this little q and I just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you for the support, for just, you know, helping me grow the channel, for enjoying the content, for commenting on the videos. I really appreciate it. It has, I know I always say this, but it really has caught me off guard how fast the channel has been growing and I didn't expect it at all. So it's just a big thank you. You know, I posted my first vlog at like 123 subs and in a matter of a month, I hit almost, I hit like 2K. So it's been crazy, I swear. I, I'm just in shock and I don't know how else to just express the fact that I, I appreciate it and that I'm happy that we've hit 2K. So yeah. Thank you, I appreciate you guys. It's been crazy. I hope you guys enjoy the content. I've been seeing you guys in the comments. You know, I'm in the comments too. So if you have any questions, let me know. I've been trying to make as much content for you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed the vlog. And today I have a little quick Q&A for you guys. I posted on my YouTube asking you guys to help me out with some questions. And I also posted on my Instagram to help me out with some questions. And surprisingly, <laughs> there's a lot of questions. I'm gonna go through most of them. I'm so sorry if I didn't go through yours and if I didn't feature your question on the video. Just know that I'm reading all of them. I'll try and answer them in the comments. Let's get to it. We have a lot of questions. It's kind of, it's crazy. I don't know. Thank you for that though. You guys are nice. So let's start it off with Delena. They are asking, have you ever had a cleanup after someone who got sick on the plane? And how often do you see people get sick on the plane? So luckily, cross my fingers and I hope I never have to. I haven't, you know, had an experience like that. I haven't had anyone get sick on my plane. I only had someone, you know, feel a little bit claustrophobic. I don't know if you watched my last video. No, I haven't had anyone get sick on my plane. I haven't had to clean up anything like that. But if we ever need to do that, there is a special kit on the airplane that will help us do that. Her story is about it and it's really bad, you know, not only um, coming out of the mouth, but there's just, you know, other exits too that people have dealt with. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've gotten lucky. Knock on the wood. <laughs> I don't want to deal with that in the future. So thank you for the question. We have Ben Summers asking, what advice do you have for someone who's trying to be a flight attendant? So honestly, my best advice, just my personal advice, try to get some type of experience on your resume that has to do with customer service. Because when you apply, you know, the resume is the very first thing that the airlines look at. So try and build your resume in a way that shows that you're all about customer service, that you're dependable, that you know how to work in the fast paced environment and that you're caring for others, right? Because they're all about hospitality. It's always good to have some type of hospitality background as well, but I didn't have a hospitality background. That was all about just customer service and it helped me out. Also try and be very social and well-spoken because that will help you with your interviews. We got Miss Studio. What's the biggest struggle of being a flight crew? My personal struggle, and I'm not sure if people experience this, but I, I tend to get lonely. I know you have a crew that you could hang out with, but keep in mind that most of these are strangers, and unless you, you're good at making friends, then you pro they're probably your friends. But even if they are your friends, you're always switching with different crews, right? So I personally just, you know, I, I tend to get lonely. You're far from home, you're not on your own bed, and sometimes, you know, your crew doesn't want to hang out. I kind of struggle just a little bit. I'm okay with being by myself. I like, you know, experiencing things. As you see my, my my videos, I kind of just go out and do things on my own. But I mean, you do get kind of lonely sometimes. So just a heads up on that. Be okay with being by yourself. We have Xiomara. Face-to-face -face interview tips that might help us become a flight attendant. I need to do a lot of more research for if I want to give like advice like this in future videos, if I want to do like tips for interviews and stuff. I'm going to do my research before I do anything big on that. But for your question, I guess a small tip that I do have would be to research the company that you're applying to. A lot of the times the company wants to see if you know anything about them. So for example, United has core values. So if you were to be applying to United, it would be good to understand those values so that way you could bring it up during your interviews or apply those values into like your resume. And it just shows that you're actually paying attention to the airline. So just research your airline and make sure what their values are. So we got Jay asking, what's your favorite and least favorite stopover city? So I'm kind of, I'm still new. I haven't really had a lot of overnights. I do, however, I've enjoyed Little Rock. I've enjoyed Lincoln. I've enjoyed Baton Rouge. I've enjoyed Albany. Now my least cities, I don't know. Like I don't have, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have any like bad, ex I haven't had any bad experience. I, I can't say that I have like a really least preferable overnight. I've enjoyed all of them. Everything has been fun so far. I know over time I'm probably not gonna like certain uh, overnights, but um, so far I've been having fun. So those couple ones that I named, Baton Rouge, Albany, um, Lincoln, I've had fun at Lubbock, and I've had fun at Little Rock. So yeah. 
So we have Lee asking me, first they said congrats on getting the line, thank you. And they're asking how old are you and how long have you been a flight attendant for? I look very young. As of right now, which is the 13th of October, I am 21. But I turned 22 on the 20th. So I'm not sure if the video will be up before that. Um, so if not, uh, I'm already 20. <laughs> but if it's before the 20th, I'm 21. I've been a flight attendant since July. I'm kind of new, I'm a little baby in the industry and I'm a little baby <laughs> in age two. Yeah, that's why I look so young. <laughs> so we have Lizette asking me, what made you or encouraged you to become a flight attendant? Uh, so I don't want to sound dramatic because I know I have uh, friends that watch this and I have peers that know me that watch the video. But if, I, if I'm being quite honest, I was going through a little breakup, right? I mean, I'm cool with my ex or whatever. I was just at the lowest point of my life. Honestly, if I'm being truth, truthful, I was at the lowest point of my life. I was like, what am I doing with myself? I didn't really like where I was working at. I wasn't fully enjoying school. Everything that I tried, I ended up just leaving. You know, I did real estate. I became a notary, worked at Home Depot. I was doing NFTs. I was just all over the place. And then I hit a really low point in my life. And I was like, dude, what am I doing with myself? And I felt very stagnant with myself. And I just wanted to like disappear. Just leave my hometown. You know how people always say like, leave your hometown. I wanted to do that. I wanted just to like leave. And my brother's girlfriend, him and his girlfriend were just traveling around because she's also a flight attendant. And I saw them traveling and I was like, you know what? I have nothing to hold me down. I have nothing waiting for me at home. I have nothing that's holding me back. Like, let's give it a try. I applied. <laughs> they said yes. I went through it and I'm a flight attendant. So I don't know. It's crazy. I mean, I'm happy now. YouTube's going great. So things happen for a reason. I'm, I don't know. So we got just Naomi asking, is it possible to graduate while being a flight attendant? Or do you think it's better to you university to do university before being a flight attendant? So I think if you do online school, which is what I'm doing, you could probably still graduate and be a flight attending. But I think it's one of those things where you kind of choose either or, right? So it would be awesome if you could do your school, do school first in a way that it'll help you become a flight attendant. Because I know and anywhere that you go in the industry, if you've got a degree it's always looks good on you so you know that's kind of like the perfect thing do school and then become a flight attendant but you could always try and balance both just know that you'll be struggling joshua door is asking what kind of snacks do you serve during a flight yeah i mostly just serve pretzels stroop waffles and biscoffs and we also have three different um snack boxes i believe it's three we have the tapas the recline the takeoff that's it yeah and those snack boxes have a lot of different snacks in them, like pretzels, olives, uh, little uh, bread crackers, uh, you know, salami, cheese, olives. Yeah, they have a lot of snacks in there, but my mo most snacks that I serve are pretzels, soup waffles, biscoffs, and we also have Pringles, but you have to pay for those, same with the snack boxes. So we got Princess Josh asking, how long are you usually gone from home on each shift? So the way it works is that you get a trip, you get assigned a trip. For example, I had a four day trip, if you kept up with my little vlogs. And I was gone for four days. Those four days, you know, we worked different amount of hours. We only, we're only on the clock for a period of time, but we're mostly at the airport for about eight to 12 hours, right? But you're technically working, working for maybe like half of that. It all, you know, like going to planes and like switching planes and boarding people and all that kind of adds to the time. But you're only clocked in for probably half of that. I'm gone for four days at a time. So we got keys asking, are you gonna move up to any bigger planes or do you enjoy working on the small fleet? So I'm regional right now. I applied to United as of yesterday and it's the 13th. I'll keep you guys updated. I don't know when they're gonna answer me. So probably by the time this video's up, I'll probably know whether they <laughs> accepted me or not. And if you see my channel saying anything about me getting accepted, then there's the answer. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do mainline. I probably will. So we got Jaleel asking, how does flight attending reserve work? So the way it works, I also have a little five things you should know uh, video. The way it works is that you literally sit at the airport and you, you report, you tell them, hey, I'm at the airport, they clock you in, you just sit, you sit, you sit, and then you wait for them to call you and say, hey, look, we assigned you a flight for this, this, and that. That's it. And if you don't get assigned, you just go straight back home. So we got Willie asking, do you feel lonely working alone in flights? Working alone, I don't feel lonely. When I'm back at the hotel, I could get lonely. <laughs> so we got Ballistic asking, what kind of benefits do you get? So benefits, I know there's a lot of like medical stuff. There's dental, there's eyesight, there's medical. 
Um, but like the big one is the flight benefits, which aren't really free flights. You're on standby. So if there's an open seat, you can take the seat. If there's no open seat, you don't get any, uh, you don't get to travel on the plane. Yeah, you get, you know, you get your medical, you get your eyes, your dentist, um, you know, all types of insurance, and you also get your flight benefits. So those were all the YouTube questions. And we're already at like 13 minutes. I'm probably gonna cut through some of them, but I'm moving on to my Instagram questions. And these are a lot, so thank you very much. I just, I appreciate everyone. We have Jami Hadid asking, where are you from? I'm from Cali, I'm from Orange County. So if you got anybody in OC in here, let me know in the comments. If you're from Cali, let me know in the comments. We have Josiah asking, what's a hard lesson you've learned as a flight attendant? I think one of the hardest lessons is that you really gotta be a leader in this type of field, especially if you're working alone, right? Because you gotta oversee a lot of people and you gotta take control of situations. So I can't just really hide behind somebody. I really have to step forward and kind of put my foot down and make sure that people are following my lead because you know I'm the one keeping them safe. We have another one by Josiah, which I think is a good one that I should let you guys know. Uh, they said, what kind of work did you do before becoming a flight attendant? So like I mentioned before, <laughs> I've been all over the place. I didn't know the rary. I've done real estate. I worked at Home Depot, I worked at McDonald's, I worked at a mortgage company. I've always done YouTube, I've loved YouTube, I've streamed before. Because those aren't jobs, I just love content creating them. And um, that's kind of pretty much all I've done. And a whole bunch of customer service and sales, but like I literally would work only for like a month and I'll just quit. So yeah, just been up and down. We have Steve Escutia asking me, what has been the most difficult thing to get used to about the job? So one of the things that I had to get used to was just being far from home and getting used to not sleeping on long flights. Because most of the time when I catch a flight back home, it's late at night and it gets really full. So I can't catch a regular seat. So I have to catch a jump seat with the other cabin members and you can't sleep in the jump seat. So I have to get used to, I have, I've had to get used to just being awake for like three hour flight, getting to Houston like at 5 a.m. in the morning and just try and catch up on sleep. So just catching up on sleep has been uh, kind of like a tough one for me. We got fresh milk, shout out fresh milk, yeah. They're asking, is there a bias for airlines to take women over men as flight attendants? So I understand the industry is very, you know, dominated by women, but I've seen a lot of, of men lately. So I think they're moving forward with like a half and half type thing. And I know there's probably some type of regulations that say like you need to have this amount of women and men so I, I don't i haven't really seen a big bias i just think that not a, a lot of men apply to be flight attendants so we got carlos shout out carlos i know they are also becoming a flight attendant so good luck with all that um they're asking biggest obstacle as a flight attendant i honestly think the biggest obstacle would be just training because training could be very fast paced it could be a little bit hard it's a lot of information that you're taking in so it's tough you know you get past the interview and all that stuff and then you got to get past the, in the training so kind of like a really big thing so just be careful with that and be ready to just take a lot of info we got Michael asking me who my favorite artist is. If you know me, it's Yellow Days. I'm about to watch him on the 20th of October for my birthday. So it's gonna go hard. So yes, Yellow Days, that's my boy. He, go, he goes hard, just check him out. We got Brandon, that's my cousin, bro. What's up? They're asking, what are you gonna do for your birthday? I'm gonna go watch Yellow Days. We're also gonna have a Halloween party. I should probably hit you up already. If not, I probably already did. But yeah, we're gonna have a Halloween party. You're invited because your birthday's three days after and we're probably gonna get a cake for the two. So yeah. What's my vlog setup? This is my vlog setup as of right now. And then I also have my camera right now, but I haven't vlogged with it besides this video. But this is the vlog setup as of right now. So we have, I'm trying to die. <laughs> That's my cousin too, Diego. They're asking best moment at work. Honestly, I've had some really cool moments where people just tell me that I'm doing a really good job and I really enjoy that. A particular thing that happened was that an older lady, she was like, hey, isn't your name Ennis? And I was like, yeah, that's my name. And she was like, you know what? My, un my uncle was named Ennis. And she was like, I've never came across anybody but you who's also named Ennis. And I was just like, what the heck? Like I haven't either. I, I just know Texas has a city, Ireland has a city, but it was just like a shock. I was like, what the heck? What a coincidence. That's that's really cool that uh, she just kind of like, she seemed really happy about it. So that was really nice of her. We got Chris asking me, why do you bring food with you online? Don't you get free airline food? We don't, we don't get, I believe not even the snacks on the plane are free for us. We're not allowed to take any of that. Um, so I have to take care of my own food for myself. Uh, we get a discount at the airport, but that's about it and it's very tiny. 
We got mellow because I, I can't say your username, but I know you. <laughs> They're asking worst flight experience. I haven't had anything crazy, luckily, but I did have like, I, like really bad turbulence one time and all the people were just looking at me like, what the heck, what's going on? But it was like very minor and I was just like, I don't know, <laughs> I'm just, I just work here. I was just like in shock too, but that's about it, just turbulence. So far it's just been like really like, it, it rocked really bad. And then we just got back into place. They're also asking any drama between the crew. I know there's drama. I mean, every workplace has drama. And most of the time, when they're, if you don't really like someone, you could put them on a list not to work with. I haven't really experienced any drama so, lately. So cross my fingers, I don't want to go through that. And they're also asking how long are trips? So we're not allowed to get scheduled more than six days. And if we do want to do more than six days. We need to at least have a day off in between. So the most you could do are six days back to back. And you know, you could probably work around 12 hours per day. So that could be really long shifts. So those are all the questions. I appreciate everyone who submitted a question. It's, it was really fun. I hope I got to the most important questions. But um, yeah, if you have anything to ask me, just ask me in the comments. I'll be up in the comments. Check out the Discord. You guys keep on chatting there, asking me all types of questions. I'm trying to build a community. You, know, you can hang out there, put some memes up there, introduce yourself, tell me where you want to travel to. We can, you know, chop it up on Discord. Just trying to build a community. But um, yeah, if you made it this far, I appreciate you. I appreciate everyone for the support. Like I said, it's been crazy and stay tuned because i have a lot more content if you have any suggestions let me know in the comments i'll catch you guys later thank you